15. I have a bar magnet and I have a lot of nails and pins, which being steel, are picked up by the same magnet. Of course. Well, let me get rid of those, because they're yes. all magnetised, if I can without pricking my fingers. Give you the bar magnet and ask, can you turn one of those pins into a small bar magnet? Well, I think I can. Um, if I use one end of the magnet, let's say the north pole, and if I hold a pin down on the table and then stroke the pin from, let's say, the head end to the point with the north pole of the magnet, and keep on doing that for a little while, and I think I will be successful in turning a pin into a magnet. Okay, let's try it on the unmagnetised pin okay, you got there. Here we go. Terrific. I have succeeded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got two identical pins. Yes. One's a magnet and the other isn't. Let me mm -hmm. mix them up. Can you tell now which is which? Uh, that'll be difficult because um, I think whichever one's the magnet, that should attract the non-magnet, but okay. the non-magnet will also attract the magnet. Uh -huh. um, if I had a compass needle, I think I could do but it. But you haven't got a compass no. needle. No. How do I do it? Okay. Well, here's the trick. You take one pin and you... Of course, it'll attract the other at the ends, either yes. end. So you try it in the middle. And if it attracts the middle, it's the magnet. If it doesn't, it's the non-magnet. So that one's not attracting the other. No. Therefore, not really strongly. No, so therefore, the this is probably the non-magnet. Check it. If this is the magnet, it'll attract the middle of that pin, which I, it does. I guess it should attract it everywhere, should Yeah, it? well, mm. it'll attract it everywhere. Because mm -hmm. the one on the table that I'm not touching is unmagnetized, this one is. So it'll attract the other one everywhere. So this one has to be the magnet, that has to be the non-magnet. 